Hi, it's Kevin from Made in Leicester, and here with me in the studio this afternoon is Polly Yates and Ian from Polly. Yeah, hey, welcome. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Welcome, both of you. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. So if you just quickly introduce yourself and say what you do in the band. Uh, my name's Polly. I sing and I write songs uh, for the band. Hello, my name's Ian, and I also write songs and produce and engineer the tracks that we've recorded for our new EP. Oh, brilliant. Which we'll talk about a little yeah. bit later, Ian. Yes. Also play guitar as well. Ian plays guitar in the Yeah, that's my main role, that. really. Play guitar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, that's quite all right. Now, that's one thing. Now, I just want to get something straight. Now, you're Polly. Is that the name of the band? Or it's obviously your <laughs> name, isn't it, Polly? But it is. It's my name. It's funny because... We sat when we've had covers projects before. We've had function projects, and we've got a duo called Monroe that we play weddings and things like that with. You've um, got a what? Sorry, we've got a duo, an acoustic duo oh, right. called Monroe. And when we started writing for the originals project, we sat down and came up with hundreds upon hundreds of names for the originals project, and we were trying to think of something a little bit quirky and something that got our personality across. Um, and then. We'd kind of spent weeks deliberating over these song, these uh, these band names, and we could never quite get it right. And then eventually, uh, Ian and a friend of Ian, um, it was actually Adam Ellis, wasn't it? Yeah, Deadline yeah. Studios in Leicester. Um, he just said, "Why don't you just call it Polly?" And we kind of thought. I, at first, I didn't want to because I thought oh, it's a little bit egoy, isn't it? But then at the same mm. time, if I'm the front person, it does it. It's it. It means that it's instantly kind of. Um, instantly identifiable with me and it, it gets across who i am as well so yeah we're, we're we're happy with it that's kind yeah that's kind of what i suspected yeah um as, as as a reviewer i write for music in leicester and arts in leicester um so i know that i know your name polly i know you um i've heard of you and about you for the last ooh, i don't know certainly a year or so i suppose yeah. so yeah so um i know that Polly, ah, oh, yes, I know who you are. So. Yeah, that's so what we now... thought. It had an instant identity yeah, and a kind of right. association with us. And this is Polly the band. Quite. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Glad I got that sorted. <laughs> so what does it what does it feel like, Ian, being in a band called Polly, your boyfriend and girlfriend? If we're not, so, no, just oh, no. just oh, long sorry. suffering yeah. colleagues. colleagues. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so you, do, you don't mind the band sort of having the Polly's No, identity. I think it's great. Yeah, it's really good. Like Polly said, you know, just um, lots of people know Polly from you know around the scene in Leicester, Loughborough, Nottingham. Careful. So and <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it makes sense. You know, people identify with Polly and and her name, so. Okay, yeah. yeah. And um, you, you mainly do acoustic sort of folky type stuff? It's not really folky. I think folk's a bit of a swear word. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do apologise. <laughs> No, it's it's they're, they're pop songs. They are contemporary pop songs, but we draw a lot of influence from Ian's a jazz guitarist primarily. Um, he's got a real jazz and funk yeah. background, so we like to draw on that. I also listen to a lot of um, sort of soul and blues, as well as a lot of really rockier. Um, a lot of my kind of earlier influences were rock and punk music. Um, so it's a bit of a melting pot of all of that, really. Um, I think lyrically, it's very poppy. I think that you know, it's a lot of love songs. It's a mm. lot of very um, relatable kind of lyrics and things that are going on in our lives. So I think you're right because I remember I saw you at the OBS Unplugged. I think wasn't it? A couple That's of weeks right. Ago. Yeah. And then I thought, yeah, it seemed to be um, you know quite easy, easy to listen to and lots of catchy hooks in there. If oh, I may good. Say such Thank a thing. you. It's quite memorable. <laughs> easy to like. You know, oh, grows great. Straight away which is very good. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, why don't we um, play or hear one of your performances. Now, you're about to perform live in the studio for us, Running on Empty. That's right. Could you tell us a little bit about <laughs> what, what that's about? Running on Empty is a very cheeky song. Um, it's basically about a wilder past <laughs> and it's about going out and having a great time and being really wild and uh and actually kind of you know wearing yourself down a little bit and starting to so, run on empty so you um, need some it, sleep you need some food it's hedonism it's pure hedonism yeah absolutely Sounds brilliant <laughs> so here's running on empty live in the studio by polly Sure, who you're taking down with you? And I 
I give the world to you You mean nothing if not everything to me yeah. And I'll keep you running, running And I'll keep you running, running on empty Love some of you sparkle in the middle of the dance floor But looks don't mean a thing when your head is in your hand You give me everything you got, yeah So one, two, broke shoes Tell me what you're gonna do When they find you in the disco Three, four, love, show Who you're taking down with you And I give the world to you You mean nothing if not everything to me, yeah And I keep you running, running And I keep you running I give the world Running on Empty by Polly. Have I heard that one before, Polly? You have. We played that at the OBS uh, competition a couple of weeks ago that I think you were there. So oh, yeah, right, we yes. played that with the full band. Okay. Oh, brilliant. I thought I recognised it somehow. Um, how did the how did that competition well hang on, let me get it straight. The OBS unplugged, that's not a competition, is it really? It's uh, No, it's more of a showcase, isn't it? Yeah, you're auditioning um yeah. for various festivals and things, I think. So how did that go for you? Yeah, very well. We've been invited to play a couple of festivals. We've had nothing confirmed as yet, um, but we're really pleased with the response. We got some really nice reviews from some very nice people indeed. And, such uh, as? Uh, such as Trevor Locke, the lovely Trevor Locke from Arts in Leicester. Oh, he wrote now some called Music in Leicester. Music in yeah. Leicester, that's right. Yeah, he wrote some really nice words about us. And uh, yeah, we've had a couple of promoters and things get in touch after that. So yeah, really good. Mm, good, yeah. I must admit, they, they do a good... Uh, job on the music scene don't they arts and Leicester and music in Leicester etc. yeah absolutely yeah so okay so you played at that and you also played at the finale as well I think didn't that's you? You right yeah we played at the the finale weekend yeah that was great uh, really really good night it was it was a really good time uh, really good to get a chance to see some of the other bands around Leicester and some of the people that we hadn't seen before um, but yeah the, the standard the whole standard of the night was fantastic can you mention anything about some of the festivals you might have got through to um, it's early days. It's very early it? days as yet. Yeah, very okay. early days. <laughs> Speaking of festivals, I think you're you're applying for another one, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, we entered uh, we entered the play at LMF competition, um, which is basically a competition to um, win a spot on the Leicester Music Festival, which is oh, a yeah. huge festival taking place at the Tigers Ground mm. um, in the summer. So it in was July, really, I think, it? that's yeah. right, yeah. It's really exciting. The lineup's enormous. They've got people like Professor Green um, on the lineup. So it, the yeah. Labyrinth as well, I think. That's right, yeah. yeah it's, it's huge. Wow. Um, and we, we entered the competition and we got shortlisted and went through to an online voting round, which we 
through some no idea how but we managed to actually win the online vote which oh, we were really really happy with yeah it was and amazing com- it's competing against how many bands it was 120 was of them in the list roughly yeah you came top so, yeah wow. absolutely yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you oh, we were really overwhelmed it's, it's absolutely amazing to know that there's that many people kind of behind us and supporting us it was yeah that was great mm. So now we're through to the live heats, um, which are taking place at the moment. Ours will be at the Exchange Bar on, um, I think it's, is it Wednesday the 19th? Yeah, Wednesday the 19th. Yeah. At Exchange on heat, heat number three. That's right. Brilliant. Yeah. I look forward to that. That's a good venue as well, isn't it? For, Fantastic. For I love the Exchange. Lovely, yeah. lovely atmosphere. Beautiful, beautiful venue. Yeah. And that's, so that's open to the public as well, isn't it? That's right. Yes. You can buy tickets. They're £3, I think, um, yeah. at the moment. £3 in advance or £4 on the door. That's right. Yeah. And if you want to, if you want to buy the tickets, just go onto their Facebook page, play at um, LMF, and it'll be on there. Oh, brilliant! So we might see you supporting Professor Green. Fingers crossed. We can only hope. <laughs> okay then. Well, um, why don't we play another one of your songs now? Is it Always Forever. Yeah, the live that's studio it. version. <laughs> yes, this Enjoy. one's another one of our EP, which we've just finished. Um, this one was actually written by Ian. Um, and it's it's about sort of just overcoming some of the dark things in your life and kind of trying to trying to find how to move forward and work out work out how to get past things. So it's a bit of a sensitive one. <laughs> okay, so here's Always Forever by Polly. I can be safe 
believe now And always forever That was Always Forever, performed live in the studio by Polly and Ian, part of, <laughs> part of Polly's band. That was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, have you got any albums out or anything like that? We have just finished our very first EP. Um, oh. It's taken us a really, really, really long time, but we're very, very proud of it. It's, it's everything on it. It's performed, recorded, produced. The lot is all done by myself and Ian, mainly Ian. Oh. <laughs> Um, so yeah it's four tracks and um, it's available we've got hard copies of it we've got physical copies available from our gigs and it's also just about to be available on iTunes and Spotify and Amazon and all of that sort of stuff as well so and how much for how much more? five pounds wow bargain I have to say stuff Absolutely. like that yeah and that song you just performed is on it that's right yeah what about the other one running on yeah empty running on empties oh, yeah. on there as well that's right brilliant oh very good oh. <laughs> Yeah, so what? no albums or anything like that? Not yet, no. Right. I mean, the, the songwriting and this side of things is relatively new. This is, these are the, this is the first EP that we've worked on, so we'll be doing, we'll hope to do a lot more. Because you've been around a little while now, you, Polly, on the We've been scene. playing covers and things for quite a long time, um, maybe four or five years together. Um, but with the original, with our own material, we've only been doing that for a year. Oh, I see, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you've decided to... So what about an album then? You think, sort of... That might, maybe next year. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, yeah. Actually, what are your plans for the future? What about festivals and stuff? Yeah, we're hoping to play some festivals this summer. We've been in talks with a few different people around Leicester for um, for slots on those, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, we're just looking to gig as much as we can now. Um, we've had some fantastic support slots over the last year. We mm, we did a gig by um, the rivers. You yeah, there, didn't you, recently? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that gig was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it was in my in our the one at the sound house. No, it was in our hometown of Loughborough. Oh, uh, and it was a, a gig at the Orange Tree there, and it was um, uh, some lads from Manchester called um, Fairy and the Monkeys, and then ourselves and by the rivers, and it, the place was just packed to the rafters. The atmosphere was amazing. It was a really really good gig. Mm, I can imagine they they pack anything out, wouldn't they? Yeah, by absolutely. The They're I mean, great o, guys. The O2 Academy, the big O2 Academy, they yeah. pack out. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Yeah. Oh, that's good. So yeah, future gigs. Um, we're looking to well at the moment we've got the as we've mentioned we've got the LMF heat coming up that's mm-hmm. our next local gig uh, that stands for the Leicester Music Festival doesn't it that's so right yes yeah and it'll okay. be and that one's uh, that one's at the exchange which is opposite curve on Wednesday the 19th that's three, right three pounds in advance <laughs> or four pounds on the door brilliant and any more that you know of? Um, after that, uh, all of our gigs are all listed on our Facebook page, so we always put them up when we get booked. Um, we've got a couple coming up over in Nottingham as well with some promoters over there, so we, we list them all on our Facebook page. And what is your Facebook page? It is facebook.com forward slash polymusic. Oh, okay. Nice Quite and easy. easy. No, no underscores or anything? <laughs> no, no, all one word, okay. easy. Again, all, all about Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> It's only a noisy one. <laughs> oh, I see. You're not, are you? You did surprise me. Um, okay, no, brilliant. Um, yeah, so you're going to, just before you go, you're going to perform one final number for us live in the studio. I always like when we do um, performances in the studio. It makes it a bit more special. <laughs> and this is going to be called All of Me. That's right, yeah. Can you give us a little bit of Yeah, this about song is um, it's basically about the very beginning of a brand new relationship where you, um, you kind of believe that you're going to right all the wrongs that other people have kind of brought to the person before and you're going to be better than what they've had in the past. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of about how that, how that, that feeling at the very beginning Mm, okay so here's All of Me by Polly I will piece by piece break down your walls and I will keep the wolf from your door and I will Take you down where my secrets are stored And I will chase away the ghosts Of the lovers who came before And you will 
have all of me. You have all of me. I will rise up every day that goes by, and I won't stop trying to catch the light from your eyes. And I will never leave if you just learn to love my fire When I'm open, I'll set you a light And you will have all of me You'll have all Whispers are hide the things I've seen When I give them to you, you believe And secrets and lies I've been buried beneath But I give to you all of me